Hey everyone, this video is going to show you my Rocky Road recipe, so keep watching if you're interested to find out how to make this delicious sweet treat. The ingredients you're going to need to make your Rocky Road is firstly and most importantly baking chocolate. So you can use either dark white or milk. I'm just using milk for this one because that's what I prefer. And I'm also using glazed cherries, desiccated coconut, and you have to make sure that it's desiccated, not shredded. Otherwise it'll be too thick and it won't taste as good. And then also crushed peanuts and marshmallows. I'm using the mini marshmallows just because I don't want to have to cut up the large ones. The first thing we're going to do is take our bowl and our cooking chocolate and just break this up into pieces. Now we're going to place this chocolate into the microwave, gradually melting it, but making sure that it doesn't burn by stirring it every 30 seconds or so. So here is our melted chocolate, and I'm just going to be adding all of the ingredients into it now. So I'm just going to start off with the coconut, adding most of it in. Now I'm taking the peanuts, and I'm going to be adding most of these in. Now I'm taking my glazed cherries and I'm adding probably most of those in as well. Lastly is the marshmallows and I'm going to be adding quite a lot of marshmallows into this. And then just keep mixing that around until all of the marshmallows are coated in chocolate. Now that our mixture is complete, I'm just going to be transferring this mixture into this rectangle tray just because I find that the rectangle tray provides the best shape for your Rocky Road. Just using your wooden spoon, evenly spread out all of the mixture. Now just pop this tray in the fridge until it's hardened. I've just taken this out of the fridge. It's been about an hour, so I'm just going to continue to cut this up. The way I've cut it is just I cut it in half and then the two parts in half again and then just straight in the middle. To get your cut slices out, you just want to take your knife and gently wedge it underneath and it should come out pretty easily. And here's what the finished product looks like. As you can see, it's exactly the same as any slice that you would buy from a cafe or something, only you could make a whole slab with the amount that it would cost you just to buy one slice. I really hope you enjoyed this quick little recipe on how to make Rocky Road Slice.